right, chapter 9.0, we're going to be working on auxiliary views, and this is called the rod guide design. The dimensions are in inches, so we're going to go here, file, new, English, ANSI IDW, so we're going to go to create. And this one's a, a bit different. When you go to base, we want to have the top view in this position, and we want to move it. Actually, I'll just go ahead and get the scale here. I'm going to click in try two, and that looks pretty good. And I'm going to move this up here and hit OK. Now, up at the top, instead of the base, we're going to go to Auxiliary View. And you just want to hover over this view till you get that red box like that and click it. And then it's asking for what surface do you want to do an Auxiliary View. And I want this surface right here. So I'm going to left click that. And it's going to bring down a view here. And then I can project off of this view to get a get my isometric but for right now we're just going to work on this these two views here um, you could bring in this view here and hit OK and you can project off of this put this view up right click create come back here and delete that view and delete this view okay so we have the three this one only has three views we have our top view and our auxiliary view and our isometric all right go to go to annotate center mark Click all of these. Go to bisector. Select all of those four holes. Now, we want to go to dimension. Select those two views. Hit OK. center to there Let's put that out that surface hit OK Let's put an angle in here hit OK Next, we want to go here to here, drop that in, hit OK. Let's put a diameter in here for this, for this uh, hole here, we're going to drop that in, hit OK. We need a radius for this corner, and a diameter for the holes. here click this and here right click remember right click we did earlier with a dimension type we want to um, align drop it in this surface to the center put it over there drop that in for the diameter This one, I'm going to go back to bisector real quick. I forgot to do this one. I'm going to click it in there for that hole in the top. We're going to go from here to this surface there. Hit OK. 
okay and from here to there see how it's going to put my 25 on my line I'm going to hit escape and go back to dimension and click the opposite surface first and it'll move the dimension to the top then last I want to get that in there for the depth of cut and that is pretty much all you got to do for the auxiliary view now text your name highlight so drop down select chapter 9.0 highlight drop down select hit OK type in material colon space carbon steel highlight drop down select hit OK hit escape twice center your name up along with the chapter and I need to move my note over here and that is all for chapter 9.0